It's time for our weekly one-on-one -on -one presented by Toyota. I'm with right tackle Trent Brown. Trent, you've been one of the, the best stories of this season so far. Seventh round pick, transformed yourself in the offseason, now starting, standing out at right tackle. How's it been so far, your first season as an NFL starter? Uh, it's been great. I've just been trying to do as best as I can to make sure I stay a starter. You've been, you know, a unique story. You've got a unique background. I want to go back to your college days where you started at uh, Georgia Military College. What was that like? Definitely learning some time management. I definitely, it doesn't hurt me to get out of bed early in the morning. We had to be up at 5.30 on the bricks in formation every morning for PT. After PT, we had about an hour to get ready and get dressed in class A's for class for another formation to uh, salute the flag and uh, then class after that. At any point, did you think when you're getting up early, got PT, I'm gonna be an NFL starter someday. <laughs> uh, it crossed my mind a few times. So you transferred to Florida, ended up being a seventh round pick, coming to the 49ers. You worked so hard in the off season and really took hold of that starting spot at right tackle. At what moment did it click for you where you said, this is what it's gonna take for me to get where I wanna be? That fourth quarter, what well, late third quarter, when I came in the game against the Bengals last season against one of the top pass rushers in the league, all of them that. That's when it actually clicked in my mind that I could really do this and I can do it at a high level. So um, I just approached the offseason that way. You've got a quiet disposition, but obviously you have to have a mean streak to play right tackle. Does that surprise some people on the field when they, when they see that come out of you? <laughs> I don't know if it surprises them. I mean, I'm a big guy. Uh, I don't get much trash talk, so I don't know if it surprises people. They probably are surprised at how big I actually am in person. On film, it's probably like, oh, this is just TV adding a little size. But I'm actually that big, <laughs> if not bigger. Taking me inside the offensive line room, what's it like, the dynamic in there? Everybody gets along, everybody is helping each other, and everybody is just trying to do whatever we can to help each other and help this team win. How valuable is Joe Staley to you? What is it about having a veteran who's done it for 10 years now, five-time Pro Bowler, kind of giving you the tips of the trade, both on the field and off? Very valuable. I look at him like a big brother. He kind of took me under his wing uh, and just tells me, like even yesterday, he saw some things that I was struggling with and he pulled me to the side. It's just been a constant thing since last year. He gives me little tips, reminders to do this, do this, do this. Even when we're watching film on practices, be a little stronger with that inside hand. It's just small things like that. It's like reassuring to know somebody's got your back and then to just go out and do it. And then you see the look on your face where he's like, yeah. You're proud, you're proud, so it's just motivation to keep going. Staley's been one. Vaughn Miller, reigning defensive MVP, is another guy who has said that you're not only good, but you have the potential to be so much more than that. As a seventh round pick, did you come in the league knowing what you're capable of? I know what I'm capable of. I've known for a while what I'm capable of. You know how when you kind of walk into a situation blind, you don't know what's going on really, so you're kind of skeptical or I don't know taken back about what's going on and you're actually here doing this. This year I was kind of more confident coming in, knowing what I was doing scheduling wise uh, in the day to day process. So it wasn't really any blanks in my mind. What drives you? What would you say is your source of your motivation? My mom and my dad, uh, they work hard. They've done so much for me to be here today. So um, I definitely have to say my mom and my dad. Southern, born and raised from Georgia. What's the biggest difference coming here to the Bay Area? Uh, the weather. <laughs> uh, right now in Georgia, it's probably about 90-something degrees. And then come out here, it's windy all the time, a little sun. Um, that's probably the biggest, biggest part. Do you have any game day routines from when you wake up to when you take the field? No, I don't. I actually, um, I, some guys may listen to a lot of rap or whatever, but I listen to like R&B before games just to stay even keeled, you know, I don't want to get too high. You've played two of the best front sevens in the NFL, and you have a third one coming your way in week three. How do you go about your week of preparing for Michael Bennett and Cliff Averill in Seattle? They definitely do some things that make me want to work on a little bit more technique this week. Uh, I've definitely been brought a lot more focus to to the room this week and to, the, to my preparation, so hopefully it shows up Sunday.